captive, met by moonlight, proud Titania. What? Jealous Oberon. Fairies, skip hence. I have forsworn his bed and company. Terry, rash wanton, am I not my lord? Then I must be thy lady. Why art thou here? Come from the farthest step of India, but that forsooth the bouncing Amazon your buskin mistress and warrior love to Theseus must be wedded, and you come to give their bed joy and prosperity. How canst thou thus for shame, Titania, glance at my credit with Hippolyta, knowing I know thy love for Theseus? These are the forgeries of jealousy, and never since the middle summer spring met we on hill, in dale, forest, or mead, but with thy brawls thou hast disturbed our sport. Therefore the winds, hiding to us in vain as in revenge, have sucked up from the seas contagious fogs, which, fallen in the land, have every pelting river made so proud that they have overborne their continents. And this same progeny of evil comes from our debate, from our dissension. We are their parents and original. Do you amend it then? It lies in you. Why should Titania cross her Oberon? I do but beg a little changeling boy to be my henchman. Set your heart at rest. The fairy land buys not the child of me. His mother was a votress in my order, and in the spice of Indian air, full often by night has she got by my side and sat with me on Neptune's yellow sands, marking the embarked traders on the flood when we have laughed to see the sails conceive and grow big-bellied with the wanton winds. But she, being mortal, of that boy did die, and for her sake do I rear up the boy. And for her sake, I will not part with him. How long within this wood intend you stay? Perchance till after Theseus's wedding day. <laughs> If you will patiently dance in our rounds and see our moonlight revels, go with us. If not, spare me and I will shun your haunt. Give me the boy and I will go with thee. Not for thy fairy kingdom. Fairies, away! We shall chide down right if I longer dare. Well, go thy way! Thou shalt not from this grove till I torment thee from this injury. Now! A roundel and a fairy song. Then, for the third part of a minute hence, some to kill cankers in the musk rose buds, some war with rear mice for their leathern wings to make my small elves coats, and some keep back the clamorous owl that nightly hoots and wanders. And our quaint spirits sing me now asleep. Then to your offices and let me rest. What thou seest when thou dost wake, do it for thy true love take. Love and languish for his sake, be it ounce or cat or bear, hard or boar with bristled hair. In thy eye that shall appear when thou wakest, it is thy dear. <laughs> Wake when some vile thing is near. <laughs> I see their neighbor. This is to make an ass of me. <laughs> to fight me if they could. But I will not stir from this place. Do what they can. I will walk up and down here. And I will.
will sing, and they shall hear. I am not afraid. Oh, so cock, so black of you, with orange tawny bill, the throstle with his note so true, the red with little quill. What angel wakes me from my flower bed? <laughs> <laughs> the finch, the sparrow, and the lark, the paint so cuckoo gray, whose note full many a man doth mark, and dares not answer. <laughs> oh, I pray thee, gentle mortal, sing again. Mine ear is much enamored of thy note. So is mine eye enthralled to thy shape. And thy fair virtue's force perforce doth move me on the first view to say, to swear. I love thee. Methinks, mistress, you should have little reason for that. <laughs> and yet, to say the truth, reason and love keep little company together nowadays. <laughs> the more the pity that some honest neighbors will not make them friends. <laughs> I can't drink a poor cage. Thou art as wise as thou art beautiful. Oh, so neither. But if I have wit enough to get out of this wood, I have enough to serve my own turn. Out of this wood do not desire to go. Thou shalt remain here, whether thou wilt or no. I am a spirit of no common rate. The summer still doth tend upon my state. Oh. And I do love thee. Therefore, go with me. I'll give thee fairies to attend thee, and they shall fetch thee jewels from the deep, and sing while thou on pressed flowers dost sleep. <laughs> and I shall purge thy mortal grossness, so that thou shalt like an airy spirit go. Peace, blossom, cobweb, moth, and moth to see. Ready, and I, and I, and I, where shall we go? Be kind and courteous to this gentleman. <laughs> Come in his box and gamble in his eyes. Feed him with apricots and dewberries, with purple grapes, green figs, and mulberries. The honey bags steal from the humblebees, and for night tapers, crop their waxen thighs. <laughs> I like them as a fire. Good Master Coblin, if I cut my finger, I shall make bold with you. Your name, honest gentleman. Peace Blossom. I pray you, commend me to Mistress Squash, your mother, and to Master Peas Cod, your father. Good Master Peas Blossom. I shall desire you more acquaintance, too. <laughs> Your name, I beseech you, sir. Mustard seed. Good master mustard seed. I know your patience well. That same cowardly giant-like ox beef hath devoured many a gentleman of your house. <laughs> uh, I promise you, your kindred have made my eyes water hair now. I shall desire you of more acquaintance, good Master Mustard Seed. Come, wait upon him. Lead him to my bower. <laughs> the moon, we think, looks with a watery eye, and when she weeps, weeps every little flower lamenting some enforced chastity. <laughs> Time, my love's tongue! <laughs> Bring him silently. <laughs> <laughs> 
my Titania. Wake you, my sweet queen. Oh, my Oberon. Oh, what visions I have seen. Methought I was enamored of an ass. <laughs> <laughs> there lies your love. <coughs> of all these five descents. Music? Oh, music, such as charming sweet. Now when thou wakest with thine own fool's eyes oh, no. Sound music. Come, my queen, take hands with me, and walk the ground whereon these sleepers be. Now thou and I are new in amity, and will tomorrow midnight solemnly dance and do Theseus' house triumphantly, and bless it to all fair prosperity. There shall the prayers of faithful lover be, when Theseus call in jollity. Fair king attended, Mark, I do hear the morning lark. Then my queen in silence sat, trip we after the night's shade. We the globe can come to suit, swifter than the wandering moon. Come, my lord, and in our flight, tell me how it came this night that I, sleeping here, was found with these mortals on the ground. <laughs> Through the house came glimmering lights by the dead and drowsy fire. Every elf and fairy sprite hop as light as bird from briar. And this ditty after me sing and dance it trippingly. First, rehearse your song by rote, to each word a warbling note. Hand in hand with fairy grace, May we sing and bless this place. Now, until the break of day, through the house each fairy stray, to the best bride bed will we, which by us shall blessed be. And the issue there create ever shall be fortunate. So shall all the couples three ever true in loving be. And the blots of nature's hand shall not in their issue stand. Never mole, hair lip, nor star, nor mark prodigious such as are despised in nativity shall upon their children be. With this field do consecrate, every fairy take his gate, and each several chamber blessed through this palace with sweet peace, and the odor of it blessed ever shall in safety rest. Trip away, make no stay, meet me all by break of day. If we shadows have offended, we'll think but this and all is mended, that you have but slumbered here whilst these visions did appear. And this weak and idle theme no more yielding than a dream. Gentles, do not reprehend. If you pardon, we will mend. And as I am an honest puck, if we have unearned and luck now to scrape the serpent's tongue, we will make amends ere long. <laughs> Else the puck a liar call. So good night unto you all. Give me your hands if we be friends, and Robin shall restore amends. Ha, 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 ha,